Velopharyngeal insufficiency or VPI is a medical condition characterized by hypernasal speech and if severe enough, food and liquid nasal regurgitation during swallow. During normal speech and swallow, the soft palate closes tight against the back wall of the pharynx, thereby completely separating the nasal cavity from the mouth. In patients suffering from VPI, there is a persistent opening between the soft palate and back wall during speech denoted by the white arrows in this animation. This opening allows air escape during speech and food and liquid nasal regurgitation during swallow if severe enough. Surgical correction entails restoring velopharyngeal closure during speech and swallow, but without causing nasal obstruction. If the VPI defect is tiny, a needle can precisely bulk up the back wall of the pharynx with filler agents to allow for tight velopharynx closure. If the VPI defect is a bit larger, but still small, or a submucous cleft is present, a double opposing Z-plasty, also known as furlough palatoplasty, can be performed to both lengthen the soft palate as well as restore the proper reorientation of the muscular palatal sling. If the VPI defect is large with minimal lateral wall motion, a sphincter pharyngoplasty can be performed. This procedure recruits muscle and mucosa from the sides of the pharynx and rotates them horizontally across where the VPI defect is present. If the VPI defect is large with good lateral wall motion, a posterior pharyngeal flap can be performed. This procedure rotates a central strip of muscle and mucosa from the back wall of the pharynx up to the soft palate creating a permanent bridge where the VPI defect is present. To determine which surgical approach is best in order to correct a VPI defect, an endoscopic procedure known as nasopharyngoscopy must be performed. Once endoscopy characterizes the size and location of the VPI defect along with identifying the velopharyngeal closure pattern, the following flowchart may be used to provide a general idea of which surgical approach may be considered.